In this video we're going to cover some advanced modeling options and surfacing options to create runoff on a part. We're going to use the split plane command today and to use the split plane command we need to go to wireframe and draw the edges first. When I want to draw the edges I can just press and hold and grab the boundary and quickly create the edges. Then I'm going to go to the analysis drop down and go to my split plane command. Inside a split plane what we can do is we can window in all of these edges that we've just drawn. Once we draw them we can enter in a positive or negative value. So you can see we've created a runoff on this part. There's some very nice options inside of this command. We can propagate over concatenated edges. We can remove redundant vertices and concatenate the surfaces and remove concatenation points for a cleaner, nicer surface. We can connect the surfaces and join them together so it doesn't create sliver surfaces and we can also force tangency. Some very nice options. Another option that we can choose inside of this command, and you can see we got decent runoff on most of the areas of this part. We can enter a draft value in here. So if I say negative 45 degrees, I can do a negative 45 degree offset on this surface. If I want to move it back to zero, I can move it back to zero and hit the preview key and bring it back to zero. Now what's nice about this command is most other surfacing softwares would fail in areas where it couldn't complete the surface all the way around the part. You can see 90% of this part we have a very nice runoff surface. We have a couple areas here that are not as nice. What you can do in these areas is run them off individually. So since this command allows you to see these areas that would not pull as nice, we can just accept this and then go and delete those surfaces out of there that we don't need. So we're going to delete a few of these surfaces out of here and get rid of them. We're just going to use a different method to pull the surfaces in these areas. We can just use a plain old extrude elements command and we can do it from the edges environment. And we can pull these edges by selecting them and then we need to choose a direction. I can just grab this line to choose the direction, hit my spacebar and change the direction and now you can see I can drag this command out to create a nicer set of surfaces in this area. It makes it quick and easy to fix surfaces in this command. Thank you for watching today.